How's everybody doing? <clears throat> Can you hear me now? All right. Um, so this video, we're just gonna talk about deployment. Um, my experience so far. So bear with me. This is my first deployment. So right now I am in Jordan. All right. Um, deployment is not bad. Um, depending on what unit you're in, you can go on six month rotations, um, nine month deployments, for my situation, being in the 408s, um, we currently do nine month rotations. I know the new commander, um, I heard because I'm in Jordan, I didn't uh, get full details, but um, headquarters is back in Kuwait. We have teams spread out between OIR and um, Jordan and other locations, but <clears throat> keep it simple we may be going to six month deployments um more to follow all right so jordan specifically right um i'm on a nine month deployment i am learning a lot i have numerous contracts i have log cap i have ntvs and i have supplies purchased IT equipment for a unit. I'm currently purchasing furniture for the same unit, ironically. And yeah, NTVs, non-tactical vehicles. So units will need a way to get around the country, a way to get around base. Um, so we provide contracting support to get them NTVs. Um, Log cap is a beast. That might need to be its own video <laughs> where I break down <clears throat> log cap. But um, yeah, most contracts you'll experience firm fixed price. However, log cap is like cost plus fixed fee. So a lot to learn with that one, right? But anyways, um, deployment. Deployment, deployment, deployment. Um, it's fun, right? It's what you make of it. So you come out here to learn. Um, you're a part of a team. Um, I'm a part of a five to seven man team if you count the QA specialist. It's seven of us total. Um, and yeah, we write contracts for a total of 10 locations um, to include Syria. <clears throat> So, if you do get assigned to the four ways, I say ask to come to Jordan. You know, don't don't just sit in Kuwait. Kuwait is fun. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Kuwait is very fun. Um, you get to travel off base and try, you know, different cuisines. Explore the malls. Um, Jordan is not so much. Um, a little more on lockdown for you know obvious reasons if you keep up with the news what's going on with gaza and um a lot of back and forth if you look at the map jordan we're wedged in between two countries that's beefing with each other right now but um I'm just gonna pray everybody makes it home safe right so despite all that you come to jordan you have a great time um who knows when your time comes you may be have the luxury to go off post and explore uh, the country, but um, yeah, you definitely should expect some work. So, what do I do on a day to day basis? Um, we do PT on our own, so um, you know, sometimes I do two a days when I wake up, I do PT, and when I get off work, I may go to the, the gym again. Um, so, you go to the office typically 9 to 6, 6.30, um, in that time, you're 
an office working on your contracts, right? You're doing your market research, you are seeing who, what vendors are capable of doing the job. So you're pushing out RFIs, requests for information, you get a sense of how many people would potentially um, submit a quote for the contract. Um, it's, it's a whole process in contracting, right? So you could have slow days, you could have busy days. Um, right now, I'm working on the furniture uh, supply buy and learning a lot. It's different than buying um, IT equipment because we use chess for that um, and then if you want furniture there's like a whole list of mandatory sources you would use in the states um, but the way we're doing it out here we're doing local vendors because of the whole uh, the way this country is ran it can get very political so the way we do it here, we we exercise fair and reasonable competition at all times, but we source from local vendors out here in Jordan. Um, so we're not dealing with um, shipment from the U.S. like I did with the chess buy. It's really cush job. Um, the more comfortable you get with um, doing the different steps in contracting, then the more confident you brain they'll explain it to you hopefully they have the patience to explain it to you I know mine uh, is very good at that they listen to what I think <laughs> I would do as a KO right and then they're like well I see what you're saying however the FAR says this so don't ever forget to um, do things by the FAR um, that's like they said in school is your Bible so constant research, you're doing documentation, memos, uh, you're filling out all sorts of forms, and you're making sure the customer is getting exactly what they want, and you typically try to get them the best value, um, in most cases it will be the lowest price, but it just depends on the requirement itself. And that's it, that's all I got for y'all today, so we have questions pertaining to deployment, definitely shoot a comment below, and um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so now, and just look out for more content. Thank you guys for your time, thanks for watching.